Title, Shadows of the Night, A Daredevil Horror Tale. Chapter 1, The Haunted Mansion. The night was thick with fog as Matt Murdock, known to the world as the Daredevil, stood atop a rooftop in the heart of New York City. Despite his blindness, he could sense the world around him with a clarity that few could comprehend. Tonight, however, there was something different in the air, an eerie presence that sent shivers down his spine. Descending from the rooftop, Daredevil followed his instincts, guided by the whispers of the night. His destination was an old mansion on the outskirts of the city, rumored to be haunted by the spirits of its former inhabitants. As he approached the decrepit building, a sense of foreboding washed over him, but he pressed on undeterred. Pushing open the creaking gates, Daredevil stepped into the overgrown garden, his heightened senses alert to any sign of danger. The mansion loomed before him, its windows dark and its walls covered in ivy. With each step, the atmosphere grew thicker, suffocating him with its oppressive weight. Entering the mansion, Daredevil was greeted by the stale scent of decay and the sound of his own footsteps echoing through the empty halls. Shadows danced on the walls, casting eerie shapes that seemed to move of their own accord. Ignoring the creeping sense of dread that threatened to overwhelm him, Daredevil pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the mansion's dark reputation. As he explored the labyrinthine corridors, Daredevil came upon a series of locked doors, each one seemingly more forbidding than the last. With a sense of growing unease, he realized that he was not alone in the mansion. Something was watching him from the shadows, its presence a cold chill at the back of his mind. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream echoed through the halls, causing Daredevil to instinctively leap into action. Following the sound, he raced towards its source, his heart pounding in his chest. Bursting into a dilapidated chamber, he found himself confronted by a scene straight out of a nightmare. A figure stood in the center of the room, its form shrouded in darkness. Its eyes gleamed with a malevolent light as it advanced towards Daredevil, its movement sinuous and predatory. With a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach, Daredevil realized that he was facing not a ghost, but something far more sinister, a creature of the night, hungry for blood. Summoning all of his courage, Daredevil confronted the creature, his fists clenched and his senses on high alert. In a blur of motion, the two figures clashed, the sound of their blows echoing through the chamber. Despite his blindness, Daredevil fought with a skill and precision that left his opponent reeling, but the creature was relentless, its strength fueled by a dark and ancient power. As the battle raged on, Daredevil felt the weight of the mansion pressing down upon him, its walls closing in like the jaws of a trap. With each passing moment, the darkness seemed to grow stronger, threatening to consume him whole. But Daredevil refused to give in, drawing upon the depths of his inner strength to banish the shadows that threatened to overwhelm him. In a final, desperate gambit, Daredevil unleashed a devastating blow that sent the creature staggering backwards, its form flickering and fading like smoke in the wind. With a triumphant cry, Daredevil watched as the darkness receded, leaving behind only the empty shell of the mansion and the promise of a new dawn. As he made his way out of the mansion, Daredevil knew that he had faced true horror and emerged victorious. But even as he left the haunted halls behind him, he could not shake the feeling that the shadows of the night would always be lurking, waiting for their chance to strike once more. Chapter 2. The Curse of Salem The streets of Salem were deserted as Daredevil made his way through the historic town, his senses attuned to the faintest whisper of danger. Despite its quaint appearance, Salem was a place steeped in darkness, its past marred by tales of witchcraft and superstition. As he wandered through the narrow cobblestone streets, Daredevil couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. The shadows seemed to shift and sway with a life of their own, concealing hidden dangers that lurked just out of sight. But Daredevil was undeterred, his determination driving him forward in search of the truth. His quest led him to an old cemetery on the outskirts of town, where crumbling headstones marked the final resting place of Salem's most notorious residence. Among the graves, Daredevil sensed a palpable sense of unease, as if the very earth itself was tainted by the sins of the past. 
As he explored the cemetery, Daredevil came upon a mausoleum hidden away in a secluded corner, its doors sealed shut with heavy iron chains. Intrigued by the air of mystery that surrounded the structure, Daredevil set to work breaking through the chains, his muscles straining against the weight of the metal. With a final, satisfying snap, the chains fell away and Daredevil pushed open the doors of the mausoleum, revealing a chamber bathed in darkness. Stepping inside, he was greeted by the sight of ancient symbols etched into the walls, their meaning lost to the passage of time. But as Daredevil delved deeper into the mausoleum, he soon discovered that he was not alone. From the shadows emerged a figure clad in tattered robes, its face hidden beneath a hood. With a voice like the whisper of the wind, the figure spoke, revealing itself to be the guardian of the tomb. As the guardian advanced towards him, Daredevil felt a chill run down his spine, for he knew that he was facing something far more powerful than any mere mortal. With a sinking feeling in his heart, he realized that he had stumbled upon a force older than time itself, a curse that had plagued Salem for centuries. Summoning all of his courage, Daredevil confronted the Guardian, his fists clenched and his senses on high alert. But no matter how hard he fought, the Guardian seemed immune to his attacks, its form flickering and fading like smoke in the wind. With each passing moment, Daredevil felt the weight of the curse pressing down upon him, threatening to consume him whole. But even as darkness closed in around him, he refused to give up hope, drawing upon the strength of his indomitable spirit to banish the shadows that threatened to overwhelm him. In a final, desperate gambit, Daredevil unleashed a burst of energy that sent the Guardian reeling backwards, its form dissolving into nothingness. With a triumphant cry, Daredevil watched as the curse lifted, leaving behind only the quiet stillness of the cemetery and the promise of a new beginning for Salem. As he made his way out of the mausoleum, Daredevil knew that he had faced true horror and emerged victorious. But even as he left the cursed grounds behind him, he could not shake the feeling that the shadows of Salem would always be lurking, waiting for their chance to strike once more. Chapter 3. The Beast of Bray Road the small town of Elkhorn, Wisconsin, was shrouded in darkness as Daredevil made his way through its quiet streets. Nestled amidst the rolling hills and dense forests, Elkhorn seemed like the perfect picture of rural tranquility. But beneath its peaceful exterior lurked a dark secret, the legend of the Beast of Bray Road. For years, residents of Elkhorn had whispered tales of a fearsome creature that stalked the countryside, its eyes glowing like burning coals in the night. Some claimed it was a werewolf, cursed to roam the earth in search of its next victim. Others believed it to be a demon, unleashed upon the world to wreak havoc and despair. As Daredevil delved deeper into the mystery of the Beast of Bray Road, he soon discovered that the truth was far more sinister than he could have imagined. For hidden beneath the surface of Elkhorn lay a conspiracy that threatened to engulf the entire town in darkness. His investigation led him to a remote farmhouse on the outskirts of town, where he found himself face to face with the source of the town's terror. In the flickering light of the moon, Daredevil beheld a creature unlike anything he had ever seen, a monstrous hybrid of man and beast, its snarling jaws dripping with saliva. With a feral growl, the beast lunged at Daredevil, its claws tearing through the air with deadly precision. But Daredevil was ready, his senses honed to a razor's edge as he danced away from the creature's attacks. With each passing moment, the battle grew more intense, the sounds of their struggle echoing through the night. But even as Daredevil fought with all of his strength, he knew that he was no match for the beast's primal fury. With a sinking feeling in his heart, he realized that he had come face to face with a force beyond his understanding, a creature born of darkness and despair. Summoning all of his courage, Daredevil confronted the beast, his fists clenched and his senses on high alert. In a final, desperate gambit, he unleashed a burst of energy that sent the creature reeling backwards, its form dissolving into nothingness. With a triumphant cry, Daredevil watched as the darkness receded, leaving behind only the quiet stillness of the night. As he made his way out of Elkhorn, he knew that he had faced true horror and emerged victorious. 
But even as he left the town behind him, he could not shake the feeling that the shadows of Bray Road would always be lurking, waiting for their chance to strike once more. Epilogue As Daredevil stood atop a rooftop overlooking the city, he couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. For despite all of his victories, he knew that the darkness would always be a part of the world, a constant reminder of the fragility of life and the ever-present threat of evil. But even in the face of such darkness, Daredevil remained undaunted, his spirit unbroken by the horrors he had witnessed. For he knew that as long as there were those who would stand against the shadows, there would always be hope for a brighter tomorrow. With a sense of determination burning in his heart, Daredevil leaped into the night, ready to face whatever new horrors awaited him in the darkness. For he was the Daredevil, guardian of the night, protector of the innocent, and sworn enemy of all who would seek to spread fear and despair. And as long as he drew breath, the darkness would never truly triumph. The End